Hello and welcome to the boat show from the San Vitale shipyard in Ravenna, which used to be the capital of the Western Roman Empire. In fact, the port here has always been very important to the region. Today it's home to Rossetti Superyachts, which is part of a larger group, Rossetti Marino, a key player in the construction of high-tech working vessels and platforms for the offshore oil and gas industry. In 2017, the group decided to expand into yacht building, and it did so under the tutelage of Fulvio Dodic, a veteran of the Italian yachting industry. Sono in azienda da 22 anni e mi sono sempre occupato del settore eh, quello che noi chiamiamo energy. Quindi sono stato a bordo di tante piattaforme e quindi sono stato anche cliente di questi supply vessel. E vederli operare in condizioni di mare forza 8, in perfetta stabilità, è qualcosa di eccezionale. Vogliamo dare un'identità alla nostra azienda, okay? quindi vogliamo iniziare a parlare di prodotti che sono gli Explorer o comunque quelle navi che hanno la possibilità, eh, icebreaker, quindi di andare a operare o a navigare nei, nei mari più complicati. Questo eh, siamo confidenti di poterlo fare perché le nostre realizzazioni sul shipbuilding commerciali sono navi che tendenzialmente operano nel mare del nord, quindi in condizioni eh, atmosferiche a volte anche proibitive, con delle onde altissime, ma eh, hanno dei sistemi tecnologici che permettono a queste imbarcazioni di avvicinarsi a una piattaforma petrolifera senza ovviamente la possibilità di aggancio, ma rimanendo in posizione ferma per poter permettere il carico e scarico di materiali, merci e uomini okay, in condizioni di assoluta sicurezza. The advantage for Rossetti Superyachts in having a commercial shipyard as a partner, so to speak, is that it can draw on its extensive know-how and the facilities here in Ravenna, which cover some 65,000 square meters and include this 160 meter dry dock behind me here and two construction sheds of 100 meters in length. Not to mention almost 100 years of experience in the highly competitive world of commercial shipbuilding. La Rosetti Superiot può trarre vantaggio da questa esperienza del gruppo Rosetti Marino in tantissimi modi. Il primo sono le facilities. Abbiamo un cantiere molto grande qui nella, nel porto di Ravenna dove poter realizzare quindi questo tipo di imbarcazione. Dopodiché il, il supporto è quello della, del know-how dell'azienda di fare project management. Le tempistiche anche nel mondo dell'offshore sono fondamentali, quindi come gestire un progetto di realizzazione lo sappiamo molto bene. Abbiamo anche grandi capacità d'acquisto, quindi sappiamo come porci nel mercato per l'acquisizione di motori, di tutte quelle componenti tecniche, tecnologiche che sono quelle che poi faranno la differenza dei nostri prodotti. Ultimo direi anche gli aspetti di qualità. Eh, per realizzare eh, supply vessel o comunque ancora handling è necessario un prodotto di altissima qualità. Noi questa grande qualità la vogliamo portare anche nel mondo delle super e nei nostri super -hot. Since the very beginning, Rosetti Super Yachts has focused on the market for explorer yachts and supply style vessels and in 2018 it won its first contract to build a 38-meter steel-hulled motor yacht designed by Hydrotech for a European client. And we're here today to take a closer look at the project and build behind me here. But my first comment would be that although the shipyard calls this an explorer yacht, it's not exactly what you'd expect an explorer yacht to look like. Actually, uh, externally wise, it's not a typical explorer, so you don't, you don't see the flash deck uh, at stern, but certainly all the other um, characteristics of the explorer actually is compliant with. So, uh, a great range of uh, 5,000 nautical miles at 10 knots, so great volumes inside, uh, being independent from any marina, so actually I would say that it is an explorer. 
for the most important part of what an explorer uh, being means. For sure, the owners want to travel the world. They don't want to keep the boat outside the marina uh, or uh, outside the most uh, famous uh, spots in the Med. It's not um, a nice class boat, so for sure they don't want to go uh, to make the North Passage, uh, Northwest Passage, of course. Um, so that's why uh, they wanted to, to have uh, a great range uh, and to be independent. The main feature is to have all the technical parts accessible and easy to, to be maintained. The experienced owners spent many months identifying the design and build team, which besides Hydrotech for the technical and exterior design, includes Burdiso Caponi, a locally based design firm for the interior styling. But when it came to selecting the shipyard, Rosetta's commercial experience proved to be the unique selling point. They wanted to have a builder coming from the commercial uh, vessels and they wanted something really reliable. That was uh, the first uh, thing that they put on their brief. On the other hand, they wanted to uh, be able to interact with the builder, to know the suppliers, to speak with them and to understand who is the best supplier for each element that is going to be on board. So initially the brief uh, that they gave to Sergio Cutolo, the naval architect of the 38, uh, was to have uh, not longer than 38 meters length, uh, but with volumes of a bigger board. So the um, GT is 410 and uh, that is typical of boats of uh, a size of 42, 43 meters, I would say. Both uh, internally and externally, it has uh, huge spaces. So to give you an idea, 700, more than 700 square meter divided more or less half and half internally and externally. This area has been shaped like the figure eight. So we have a welcome lobby, then you have the vent, uh, the vent trunks uh, with a huge wine cellar. As I showed you in the GA, here we have the welcome lobby. We are on the main deck. So we enter into the main deck, uh, the internal space, we have the welcome lobby, and then uh, this area is shaped as the figure eight, as I mentioned already. Right here, next to the vent shaft, there will be a huge wine cellar, able to store up to 150 bottles. While moving uh, forward, we have the dining area here, sliding doors on both sides, and then, uh, um, the head galley and the owner's cabin uh, at forward. Here there will be a piece of art going from the main deck to the upper deck next to the staircase. And this is uh, the center of the project of the interiors developed by uh, the architects uh, Francesca Burdisso and Emiliano Caponi from Ravenna as well as the, as the yard. Mm -hmm. The interiors will be a combination of dark and light oak. On the upper deck will be the, there will be the main lounge uh, with a nice uh, corner bar, mm -hmm. while outside at the aft deck will be stored the tender with um, a huge crane on the south side. Now it's the time to show the market the quality of the construction, what we are capable of and we had a lot of visitors uh, among uh, surveyors, captains, brokers of course and prospects luckily and they all appreciate a lot the way we manage the process not just the way we are constructing the boat but also the way we manage the, the whole process so the relationship with the suppliers 
how we uh, manage in the, let me say, industrial way. And this is, this is a lesson learned from uh, Rosetti Marino Group. Um, the whole process is in our hands. We have uh, an, at least a monthly meeting with the owners and internally we meet almost uh, every day to make uh, uh, the best product possible, not just in terms of the quality, but also in terms of the relationship built with both the owners and the suppliers, because this is gonna be the first of many. That's something that we are sure about. Thank you.